Ineos have announced a £50 million investment in Manchester United's Carrington training ground and the first pictures have now emerged. In this video, we'll run through the architect's plans, Jim Ratcliffe's statement and what these changes will mean for Manchester United. Dave Brailsford's elite performance environment that he wants the club to have, this is the beginning of that change. So we know that Carrington is going to be getting a £50 million investment by Ineos. And by the way, can I just say this? That's £50 million more than the Glazers ever put into our club from their own pockets. All right. And what I'm going to do here quickly is run through the statement from Manchester United, take a look at the photos and have a little conversation around Dave Brailsford, around what this change means, because it's an important one. I've said all along that I think Manchester United improving Carrington and the training ground is more important in the short term than a new stadium. And Ineos are wasting no time in that regard. All right. The work is starting on Monday. This is what the statement said. All right, let's run through it. Manchester United will commence work next week with a focus on creating a high-performance collaborative environment for players and staff. And this is all absolutely out of the Dave Brailsford playbook. Elite performance, marginal gains, 1% here, 1% there. Now, there's going to be more than just 1% coming from a new Carrington, but this is definitely, I reckon Dave, Bra Dave Brailsford has led with this. And look, it says there, all areas of the building are being refurbished. The architectu architectural practice, Foster and Partners are leading it, and they were responsible for, just out of curiosity, I thought you might, thought you might like this, they designed this. Well, they, they did the con conceptual design. I think Populous, who did the new Spurs Stadium, I think they actually constructed it, don't know. But they were involved in the whole concept of it. I wonder if that gives you a little bit of a clue, maybe, to what you were looking might be looking for when it comes to a new stadium at Manchester United. I quite like stadiums that have no pillars. Just everybody can see from every angle. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let's run through the statement a bit more because this is important info, all right? The renovation work will begin on Monday and is expected to last for the whole of next season, all right? And the initial focus will be on the gym, medical, nutrition, and recovery areas. With a design emphasis on creating more space for... They're focusing on the areas of Carrington that can improve the footballing side first. Now, I did my... I've, I've covered all of this before. Actually, I haven't covered this before. Uh, I've been covering all the designs and the plans and the drawings. And I said it feels like this is more towards the overall environment of Carrington rather than what can be improved for the players but maybe the facilities right there the gym medical side of things the nutrition side of things we've already heard about the um the new pre-activation zone right but Ronaldo when he came back to the club he was completely right to complain about the fact that Carrington which when it was created was the best in the world but now it's outdated and that's exactly what Jim Ratcliffe himself said when speaking about it, and this is a statement from Jim Ratcliffe, we want to create a world-class environment for our teams to win. When we conducted a thorough review of Carrington, it was clear the standards have fallen below some of our peers. And as I said, this whole thing feels very much spearheaded by Dave Browser. This is about performance. This is about processes. This is about structure. This is where Dave Brailsford is very good. If you were to get him in charge as a sporting director of Manchester United, I don't think it would be a particularly good thing. But in this regard, I think it's a very good thing. Now, let's take a look at the photos themselves because they look pretty damn cool. <laughs> I'll be honest, like after after years of just seeing like no investment in our football club to now be speaking about brand new facilities at Carrington and a £50 million investment. And can I just say here quickly, right? £50 million investment. £50 million more than the Glazers ever did. And secondly... This doesn't affect the PSR rules, right? Profit and sustainability rules. You are allowed to invest in your training facilities without that counting as 50 million against you. So this is Ineos improving Manchester United. This is Ineos investing in Manchester United. And, and this here is, so let me try and get this and I can draw some circles on it. So obviously that's the training pitches over there. Through there is where the, I don't think that's going to be the canteen. I think the canteen's under, is the canteen underneath? Anyway, the offices, the open off, open plan offices around the back there. And let's go to see the next drawing. Not actually sure what, that would, what that's going to be. Anyway, could do with getting some new trophies there, new trophies there. That'd be nice. 
Uh, and this is the space, if you look at the first photo, and you were to go left from here, I imagine this is what you're going to get to. And it just feels like a very big, open plan, modern office. I used to work in the uh, the open offices, Ministry of Sound, next to Ministry of Sound. And nowhere near as good as this. <laughs> but it had that sort of open plan, some, certain, certain spaces anyway. Kind of reminds me of this. And if you look here, these were the drawings, right? So this is what Carrington currently is. This is the big long window that's there on the side, as you can see. And this is what's been put in. The, what This photo here is this, is this area there. That's what you can see. That's that's the conceptual design of it. Now, they're going to be building a new a viewing balcony, more offices around the other side. Oh, there is the canteen in the middle. Uh, but presumably, that goes, well, it goes much further. It goes back there. Anyway, this is modern, fresh. This is the... The non-playing side, right? So this isn't going to make Manchester United's medical uh, team better, right? This is about the environment, about enjoying coming to work, relaxing there, an actual full environment. Carrington, once upon a time, was the best in the world, but Carrington has lost that now. And that's Jim Ratcliffe there going, well... How much have you invested into this football club? Absolutely nothing, ever. And I know it's been frustrating with Eric Ten Hag, right? And I know it's been frustrating with Dan Ashworth and frustrating with Omar Barada, but we've actually, ladies and gents, we're getting 50... And the thing that I find curious about this is, Eric. maybe this was lost in translation. Eric Ten Hag spoke and said that Carrington's going to be, demolished is going to be a new training ground. Maybe this is what he meant, rather than a brand new one. But as far as I'm concerned, this feels more like Ineos investing 50 million now in the short term to improve, as you can see, gym, medical, nutrition, recovery areas, the overall elite performance environment that this will bring. And then further down the line, a brand new training ground. Now, that, maybe that won't happen. Maybe I'm wrong on that one. And let's be honest, I've been wrong plenty of times and maybe I'll be wrong again. Because 50 million is a lot to invest in something that maybe you have no intention of staying at in the long term. But United have been looking, for, looking at golf courses, looking at different locations where a new Carrington could be. But we finally got some photos here. We've got some progress. We've got some movement. We've got some change. We've got some actual genuine change geared towards making Manchester United the elite performance environment that the, these scumbags never ever wanted this guy has started and Ineos are investing 50 million pounds all right I'm excited for it I'm excited for all these changes one percent here two percent there one percent there wherever it is they're all geared towards making Manchester United a better club a more elite environment and this will go some way to doing that now, it's going to be going for the whole of the 2024 20, 25 season. So we'll just have to watch the progress of it before we can ever see the sort of the real impact that it does have. But change and change for the better is a good thing.